All right, everyone, let's do it. Another, de I was gonna say another death run, but it's probably gonna be. We're gonna go new game. We're gonna try uh, our team here that we've been playing. Eddie the big bruiser and Yvette the surgeon. See if we can have a battle run this time. Let's go ahead and start. And hold on a second. Did it just show us our, our starting uh, stats? So, uh, okay. Yeah. We, we already knew these stats. Okay, because we, we've been using the same team. All right, let's hit the road. Hitting the road. All right. We get to, uh, we get a looting opportunity right out the beginning. Uh, again, I'm a big fan of the Yomar to just try to get, um, get food. A mild and sluggish zombie horde, and we're just gonna jump in it. Alright. If this team doesn't make it though, our next run, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna try something different next time. Alright, uh, let's run around. We are finding lots of good stuff. Fortunately, they're very sluggish, so we can kind of dance around them. Let's go up in here after we throw that. Uh, anything in here? Nope, nope. We can just leave. Let's just leave. All right, can we get some supplies? Anything in here? Nothing. And come on, don't be stingy, game. Give me some stuff. All right, we need to get through here. All right, there's some food there. I'll take that. I really want to find some medical supplies, though. Oh, there's a shotgun. Can we punch these guys from here? We can. We can cheese them a little bit. All right, let's go through here. Pick this up. We're not using that, though. Boxing. Boxing. I think that was another room we missed. in here it's probably oh here we go here's the good stuff here's it pick up this corpse throw it at you oh, i got a femur yeah i'll bash you with it eh. Eh. All right, get that gas over there we need that 37 gas is good oh we snapped it over your head but it killed him i'll box you in your face in your face and you and you i throw this at you all right let's get out of here time to go Get out of my way. All right, we can be a little cocky right now because uh, it's early in the game. It's easy right now. Did she get in? All right. I glanced away from the screen for a second. I didn't notice if she got in or not. Hey, and hello, and welcome to the chat. No more creepy pastas. The group is sitting around a campfire, resting before a brutal day tomorrow. The group eats a decent meal. Morale increases. Uh, we could tell scary stories or just go to sleep. I think our morale is decent. So let's just go to sleep. We don't want to be tired. We don't want that. Group drives to a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies. Uh, there is a mild and calm swarm. Do we want to go to camp supplies or the convenience mart? Um, camp supplies could find us some decent weapons. Convenience mart most likely we're just gonna find food we do want food but we can find that over here too so let's go to the camp supplies shop and i think we're okay with these items so let's go to it all right we're gonna duck into this house right here real quick see what we find knock this guy out oh god why are you, why are you not dying all right let's move to the back here see what we find All right, I think we can just avoid these guys. I'm trying to push that towards them. All right, let's go through this door. All right, we can leave. We can leave. All right. Come on. All right, let's close that door. They will get through it, but it'll buy us some time. Nothing here. Yeah, they just broke through it. And nothing here. Go in here. There is some stuff. Punch you from behind. We are 
We're going to encounter some resistance when we're trying to get out of here. Uh, there's nothing here. All right, moving on. I don't think he saw us. All right, close the door. I think the zombies do have line of sight rules. All right, we can get through here. They are coming, though. All right, we can leave here and not have to worry about them. I do want to get to the shop. Uh, is there anything over this way? Probably not. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I do have a shotgun, just in case. All right, let's go to the camper's depot. Find a fishing rod. I guess I'll use it for the time being. That is no good. Shotgun is good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty positive this will break. Uh, we did find a shotgun, though. Is that it? Yeah. Ooh. He's angry. All right. Let's try to get out of here. Do, 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 yeah, broke it over his head, uh, there is one more place to loot over here, I think we're gonna go for it, let's go for it, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, all right, nothing in here, back out, we need to clear this hallway, let's pick up this table and throw it at him, punch him while he's down, right, let's check these side rooms, there's stuff in here, there's a pistol, I'll pick that up, uh, we're gonna just use it. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. Out of ammo already. Alright, we need to just leave. Oh, I could just give it to her. Swap meat. We can do that. That way he can box again. Man, get away from me. All right, let's see if she is smart enough to go in on the side of the car that I tell her to. All right, okay, we're out of there. Okay, none of these zombies has anything interesting to say. <laughs> Busted leg. The group meets a woman limping around with a crutch. One of her legs has was wounded in a recent fall. She was getting away from zombies. Um, we could tell her to cool it. We could steal her supplies. That's no good. We're gonna help her leg because we have some medical skills. Yvette tries to treat the woman's busted leg. She takes a day to help the woman treat her leg. She is thankful but can't spare much. Our medical increases, which is good. We get two food, and that's I mean that's that's good. Now the medical is really nice because even though our character's medical is already good, having it better means I think that it's more likely that it happens that she does healing effects and she uses less. Uh, I believe she uses less medical supplies, but we've we've used up our medical supplies. We've got no more. Barricading before bed. I think we're going to have Yvette do that because she is uh, good at fixing things, I think. Uh, all right. So nothing bad happened there, and we just eat. We are running low on food. We got one more, pretty much one more meal. Ton of traps. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious guillotine gu over it. And these are just the visible ones. Send the scout to explore for loot. We're going to send Yvette. She starts scavenging through the town, avoiding traps to the best of her ability. She is careful about where she, he's going. She is careful about where he's going. Many traps are spotted and set off safely. Yvette avoids injury. Uh, her mechanical increases. We get ammo and some food. Very good. We needed that. Thank you. Um, and we got a trading on the death road. All right. Visit the trader camp. And uh, oh, we, sh we need to put some of these weapons away. All right. We got an ammo dog. And we got, oh, an axe person, axe dude, axe merchant. We're strange man and a menacing figure. Um, we can get the, get the electric guitar for 10 food. We have 14 food left. Ooh. Do I want to get the electric guitar? It's not that good, I don't think. Fitness instructor. We can... Yvette can use her charm to get some free fitness. Yep. So her fitness went up slightly. Still bad. I think we're going to go for this electric guitar. Alright. 
we are gonna need we are gonna need to find some food all right I think that's it for here we could talk to the dog we didn't talk to him uh, Eddie could rob the dog let's go for that Eddie robs the dog are you kidding me it goes completely nuts Eddie is killed well, there's this run. That's the run right there. Are you kidding? It killed him? I have no luck. Oh, you freaking kidding me, man. Losing strength. The despair and isolation makes Yvette start to lose strength. Of course. Yvette finds a new person, Landon. He is alone and wants to join the team. Landon claims to be experienced in medical matters. He spouts a bunch of medical... Lism jargon seems plausible. If it has a good feeling about this person. Alright. We don't need a medical person, but... Alright. God damn it. Why do I keep doing the robbing the people? It hurts me every time. Yvette demands that Landon leaves. Yvette says that she will take the car and supplies and continue on to Canada. What? All right, well, Landon, we don't know anything about him other than he has a rusty machete, but we're going to go like this. We're going to say, hey, Landon, put this in the trunk of the car. And we're going to tell Landon. Landon gets kicked out. Landon was kicked from the group due to Yvette. Yvette feels pretty smug about this. Her morale increases. All right, stuck in a ditch. The car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. Yvette is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now she must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert, there's no escape. Horde size, very large. It's late afternoon. We gotta just try to survive for not too long, but long enough for us to die. We got electric guitar. She is not good at that shit. Um, God. We don't have to survive that long. Um, about four, 45 seconds we gotta survive, I think. The electric guitar is not going to be any good. Although, it might be. So, better than the meat cleaver. Hey, we're going to do go with the best that we have. Alright. Oh, this is terrible. There it is. There it is. Alright, that was terrible. I couldn't even switch weapons because she was too tired from the swing. So, we have died once again. On the death road to Canada, that was a short and pitiful run. Dang it!